Howdy there, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Sev Tech Ages Let's Play Adventure, where I've done a bit of remodeling in here, so I decided it would be a good idea to go ahead and move this fire into the floor so that I could put my grate on top of it and not have to jump up in the air to cook items. Also, turns out you can cook multiple items at once. You just have to not be jumping in the air to do it. So that was great. Now, unfortunately, when I broke our kilns, I learned something rather disturbing. They... They just break into bricks, so I'm gonna have to build new kilns, but we do have everything we need for that, so it's not a terrible hassle, it is just very disappointing. I also learned recently, by which I mean about five minutes ago, that the primal chest is very easy to build because it turns out to get bark, you just need a flint work blade, which we've had for a couple episodes now, and a bit of wood. So we could have done that at the end of the last episode, but if I'm honest with you, I'm glad we didn't. I... At that point, I had been recording for well over an hour and was slowly losing my mind. So I'm glad that we took a quick break here to come back and do this process. So I think that it's going to be four in order to do this. I've got other plans for today, to be clear. Uh, but I thought we'd start off with this just to see what we got out of the process. So this chest here was a bit of a disappointment. This primal chest here, it's a little bit on the small side. We can build more though because, aha, look out there, our tree has grown. So we now have a native primal tree. We've only got the one, though. I'm hoping it'll drop more than one sapling this time. And if it doesn't, that means I have to make that long, harrowing journey all the way back to get another one. And maybe this time I'll be clever and get more than one. Maybe I'll cut down a couple of trees. But we've got plenty of, of dark lands oak to deal with. Our dark, Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. So there we go. We've got the next version of our chest here. And let's see how big an improvement that is. Well... It's a step. It's a tiny baby step toward proper storage. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything else we can do with these. We can build a melter using one, as well as a porcelain melter and a cart. None of these things seem to be... <laughs> we can also use this as fuel, but I, I don't think so. I'm not sure if we can get any sort of better storage options. We'll see as we progress through the pack, I'm sure. Uh, ah, good, the sun is coming up. That's great. I was kind of worried it was going to be dark for the entirety of the first part of the episode. So let's go ahead and see what we can do next. I think last time we were talking about building this bladder, which is honestly bladder than nothing. Hold on just a second. Let me see if I can do this. Let's try that one more time. Bladder than nothing. That's going to be very loud, I think. I'm not sure. I thought that we got that out of a fish for some reason. I'm not sure where I got that crazy notion because in reality... You don't get it from a fish at all. I was just being a crazy person. You actually get it from plant twine, brown dye, and an ink sack. Now, ink sacks are pretty straightforward. There's an ink sack swimming right... I mean, I'm <coughs> I mean, there's a living creature outside with an ink sack that we can go deal with real quick. We probably have ink sacks here as well, though. Just from that time we went on a grand adventure. And yeah, No, apparently not. Well, well, okay, that's fine. We can go get some. That's not a hassle. Uh, the other ingredients, plant twine, also not a hassle. Brown dye, though... Maybe a bit of a hassle. So for that, you're going to need either black, red, and yellow, or black and orange. And orange is just red and yellow, so might give that one a hot miss. There's some other options. If we had a grinder, we could grind up a tumbleweed, or a manzinta, possibly, or cocoa powder. That would also work for us, but we don't have any of those things. What we do have is possibly black dye, which we get using a ink sack so yet again more ink we're going to need or possibly a black lotus or an unfamiliar item which obviously isn't going to work out for us and then red dye and yellow dye is of course just gleaned from flowers and you can probably do that in the millstone as well indeed so that shouldn't be too difficult i guess we're going to go pick flowers remember all that time we had flowers and i kept throwing them outside because haha we don't need those i was wrong we need them all also while i'm thinking about it do we need a millstone it looks like an upgraded version of the grinder Hmm. It's got a hand crank needed to power nearly or early machines. Like, well, should we build a millstone? We're not being prompted to. But maybe it's better than a grindstone. And we can make all of this. So, yeah, I guess we will. Let's stay focused, though. First things first. I'm going to go pick some flowers. Also, I just now noticed that we have oak stripped log after stripping the bark off of that. Look, I don't know. Let's see what the recipes are for this. Uh, we can build a chopping block with it if we use some flint. This is a bit strange. Yeah, or you could just do it straight up, just build it. Wait, hold on, why? What? What's the difference? Oh, that gives you two chopping blocks, naturally. You know, for when one isn't enough. Looks like you can just use it like regular wood, build things like a wooden club with it, or 
A work stump? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I just realized it's pretty highly likely that we'll find one of these orange flowers out here. As we seem to be living in a flower biome. Look, that's probably one right there. I'm also replanting carrots. I'm not sure if that's necessary. But, you know, I don't want the carrots to go extinct out here. Like all these flowers that I'm picking. Alright, so we've got a pretty wide selection of flowers now. I'm not sure if any of these are going to work for us. But we've definitely got some straight up regular poppies and dandelions. So... I think we're ready to give that a hot go. Now we just need some ink. Oh, hello there! How are you doing today? Sorry about this, really. Alright, well we now have 10 ink, which is hopefully going to be enough. And I am seriously considering building ourselves that new mill. I'm thinking that might be the next stage, even if the game doesn't tell us that's what we need to do. I'm thinking that's probably what we need to do next. Uh, of course, that means I'm going to have to build new kilns. Fortunately, it is a very basic recipe that I have totally committed to memory and didn't have to look back up, De definitely. Now, if you know of a way to pick these things up without breaking them, I tried to use a pick, maybe that was the wrong tool, but if there is a way to pick up a clay kiln without breaking it, please comment down below and let everyone know. I think it might just be that it's clay, and clay is, is not known for being very sturdy as far as materials go. Uh, in any case, now we need to cook up that stone. Oh, uh oh. So I thought about maybe digging off in this direction, and getting ourselves some more stone, but it looks like that's going to reveal the outside. Which is probably not something we want to do. I mean, it's just that one block there. If I have a bit of dirt... Oh, I got some farmland. <laughs> I went through a lot for that farmland. I'm not losing it now. What is this? Just a bit of grass? There you go. You never knew! The monsters will never know we're down here. Alright, now for the millstone, we need to take our grindstone. And these are from different mods. I want to throw that out there. We got horsepower and then better with mods. Which is interesting, but we're going to take the grindstone, combine it with a bit of stone, cooked stone, and a stone slab, which is also going to be even more cooked stone. So we're going to need 10 cooked stone total for this recipe. And then we also have to power it, which means we're going to need some cobblestone, some sticks, and a wooden gear. Which, uh-oh. Okay, maybe, uh, ooh, I don't know where to get a buffalo tooth from. I'm assuming you get it from a buffalo. But where am I supposed to go find a buffalo at? Alright, well there is all of our stone. We're not going to use it, though, because, you know, as I was saying, I don't... Uh, we can't. <laughs> There's no reason to build this and, and lose our grindstone here. Uh oh if, uh if we can't actually power the darn thing. Oh, well, it was a fun idea. We'll come back to that one later. It's not like we've got a limited amount of time in this pack. We're going to be playing it for a while. So let's go ahead and grind this up. And is that orange dye? Is that immediately orange dye what we needed out of whatever that plant was? We I think it is. Dang flabbit, I think we've done it, my friends. Now I just have to work out how to get it off of there. Always a bit of a struggle. Hey, hey! Great! I'm gonna do a couple of these. I don't really know how much we need, but uh, I see no reason to cook up the whole batch of ink because we're gonna need it for other things. So... There we go. So now we just combine these and we'll get our brown dye. All four of them. Fantastic. We only need two, but who knows? Maybe we need lots of fluid bladders. I don't know why we would, but it's a thing. And now we've got our plant twine. And I think that's exactly how much plant twine we need as well. Three of those. And then a single regular old ink sack up top. Either side. Whack it with a rock. Get yourself a bladder. A uh, bladder... Then nothing. We're, you know what? I was going to do the sound effect again, but not today. Oh my gosh, it's opened up a whole wealth of new things we could do. So I guess now we're going to backtrack a bit and do the This Is Getting Strenuous mission, which requires that we build a water strainer base and then insert a strainer, which seems pretty straightforward. I guess if we just type in strainer, we should get everything we need. And in order to advance, we have to create a dense survivalist strainer. So that's your standard strainer. And here's your dense variety. Strainer base, though, we can do that. That's going to require a wooden hopper MK2, which requires that we build a wooden hopper, which, hey, wouldn't you know it, we got to do anyway. So we start off with a bit of plank and a bit of chests. And whatever happened to that ch first chest? We Oh, right. We continuously upgraded it. Well, then we'll have to build another one, I guess. And at least it wasn't complicated. Boom, baby. Plankage. Lots of plankage. Combine that with some stones. Which, where am I keep? Ah, right there. They're so tiny. They're almost impossible to see when you hang them up there. It's real crazy. Surround that like so. Is this correct? I think this is correct. There we go. Small steps. Small baby steps, my friends. And then we just throw that back down there with even more planks. So make sure you have a few dead trees lying around. I think it goes in that shape. 
hit that a few times. Boom! That's another quest completed. We're knocking the quests out of the park today. Now we need to make a level two anyway. So I guess that's the next step. Surround that with uh, a bit of cobweb, which you can get using string. <laughs> Ugh, string again. And sticks, so that's not too complicated. And then some more bark. This olive wood, how much olive wood do I have? I've got quite a bit. We're gonna go ahead and use olive wood then, I guess. A assuming we can. I don't know. Okay, uh, newsflash. We can't. Olive wood, great big disappointment. Get out of here. Useless. Ironwood, though. Lots of confidence on this one. Ironwood's been very useful so far. Ironwood also completely useless. Get out of here. Big, big waste of time. Lots of letdown. Here's a question that is completely aside from what I was just talking about, but can I chop this up into blanks? Oh, I can. That's probably going to be its greatest service. Not taking up space in a chest, and instead being planks. I guess we have to go cut down- oh good, we've got an acacia tree, we can go cut that down. There's suddenly monsters outside my house. Interesting. None of them seem to be of the Shadowlands variety, so- oh, what happened to this fishy? Poor fishy. Oh dear, was it killed by a piranha? Possibly. Or maybe a vengeful squid? Who can say? I don't want any of your garbage. I'm not here for you. Oh dear. Oh! What? What is- Oh, this is ridiculous. Please drop that, though. Oh, dad gummit! That would have been so good! Let's cut down the acacia tree, because it's straight up vanilla Minecraft. It should work! Hopefully with this recipe? I don't know why it wouldn't. It is vanilla Minecraft, for crying out loud. If anything worked with this, it would be regular vanilla wood. And uh, then also, hopefully, we'll get some more saplings from it, because I think we only got, what, two last time? What happened to the- oh, there it is. It's still there. Pardon me there, you zombie villager. Did you perhaps come from the village over yonder? How are the peoples doing there? Do they remember me fondly? And that time I came and did like a fun trade deal with them? I do so remember that deal fondly. Let's plant these things just everywhere out here. Lots of acacia. We're gonna throw off the balance of this area in a really big way. By getting rid of all the indigenous trees and replacing them with acacia. And then also maybe introducing rabbits or something, because those tend to really wreak havoc on an ecosystem. Just ask Australia! Alright, so... Very confident, once again, that this is gonna work. Good. We'll get a whole set of them there. I like the color of the stripped acacia wood as well. I love acacia wood. It's probably my favorite type of wood in the game. Now, what is this? Right, we've gotta find string. Do I have any string? Oh, I would hope that I do. We had so much opportunity to get string. There were times during the last couple of streams where we had too much string and I had to leave some behind and now I've got none. Dadgummit. I only need five pieces and there was a spider over here. I'm not saying I'm going to kill that spider and get five pieces, but I am going to give it a red hot go. Dang it, where did the spider go? I wandered off. It knew what was coming. It knew what was coming. It hit, it rained to the... What was that? This, this explains things. I've been hearing you, like some sort of horrible caller in the night, declaring my inevitable doom. I'll take your bones. Do you have any spider friends down here, by chance? No, no spider friends, unfortunately. Oh. Okay, well this is interesting. Oh, that was over very quickly, and I don't see any spiders, so let's leave. We know that there's sheep out here somewhere, because I saw them one time. Now, what happened to them since then, I don't know. But I don't... Uh, they, they didn't go extinct, surely. Hey, what is that, a beehive? Am I going to risk this decision? Hmm. Oh, how about that? Interesting. I got bees. I know there's a guy over in our neighboring village who sells string, or trades it, but I can't remember what he trades it for. I don't want to go all the- oh, here we go. I found some sheep. Okay, this is good. No problems then. We're going to have more string than we know what to do with in no time. Unfortunately, we're never going to have any sheep again because we're going to wipe out the population. Come back here. I'm trying to wipe out your population. So we got a bit of black fleece, and then if we combine that with our uh, work blade here, that'll give us four string. So we're close to what we need. Sheep pelt? Does that have any uses? We can turn that into raw hide. Which they can turn into salted hide. Which then we can hang on a drying rack and get some dried hide. Which then we can turn into a wet tanned hide. Which then we can turn into tanned leather pants. 
How many stages, though? Oh, or we could just hang it up and turn it into leather. Uh, I think that's part of one of our goals anyway, so I suppose we'll hold on to it. But that seems like a lot of effort. Let's see if we can finish this one off a little bit quicker. Wow, we did! Good job! All right, white fleece should give us the same results. Yep, four string. Pretty good. Leave that mutton behind. We're carrying too much garbage on us anyway. Ugh, good. I was worried something might have snuck into my house when I forgot to seal the door up behind me, but not to worry. Everything seems fine here. Okay, so sticks I should have a ton of. Not sure where I stuck them, but I've got them right here. Ah, yes, sticks. Good. Let me just leave some of that over here. So we need our sticks and our string. And if I remember the recipe correctly, and if you've been with me for a while, I think you'll know, I'm very good at remembering recipes at least 10% of the time. Well, maybe this is wrong. Yeah, this is this this is wrong, I'm gonna guess. Just gonna make that assumption here. Cobweb. Very wrong. Well, I not like super wrong though. I've been more wrong about things in the past. And more wrong? Sounds like an insult that you'd call somebody. Ah, good though, we got that. So I think we've now got everything we need here. If as soon as I figure out what happened to our acacia bark. Is it right here on my screen somewhere and I just don't see it? Did I put it in a chest somewhere? There it is, literally right there. Like, right there in front of me. I was just not seeing it. And uh, the recipe is, again, in the shape of a hopper. This might be the last thing we build. With no. <laughs> well, that didn't go where I thought it was going to go. I was going to say, that's this is, might be the last thing we build. But no, it it died before we even got it built. Poor little crafting rock. Rip in peace crafting rock. I think this is our third one. Sweet. That's our next level hopper, everyone. Let's go ahead and check out what we've got. Oh, wow. It goes even further. A, a hopper that moves items and keeps blocks above it hot. Oh, so we could put that underneath maybe our furnace or our grill, and it would heat the grill or heat the furnace, and also it would pull the items out when they're done. That's clever. I like that. We might need to build one of those. So we've got to build another storage chest for this thing. Uh, throw a rock in the middle there. Boom. And it's that in the middle, and then we put the chest underneath it. I believe sticks to either side, up top. Yes, indeed. And then the rest of the recipe is filled out using some planks. And let's double check before we waste our time. Yep, that looks to be correct, so this should work. And it does! You don't know how heartbreaking it is when it doesn't. It's... It's soul-destroying <laughs> when you think you've got the recipe and it doesn't work. Should we put this thing outside? It seems like it should go outside next to some water as it is a strainer, and I'm not real sure what it does or how it works. Okay. All right, then. And then I guess just sticks in a circle is what we have to do next. Uh, listen, I'm still confused, though. What's the difference between this? Oh, there's a net in the middle. This whole time I've been missing the dense net part of this recipe, which, of course, naturally requires more strings. Tonight's the night. We're going to go hunt some spiders. Got a lot of confidence in this. Seal up the door behind us. Oh, wow. That actually grew. Uh, it's a very large tree. Weird. What the? Shrek! Piranhas! Piranhas on the loose. Flying piranhas once again. This one brought a friend. Are they after each other? Are they after me? I can't quite tell. Back off of me, creatures! Actually, don't. Keep coming at me, because you're doing exactly what I need you to do in dropping string, which I appreciate. How much do I have? Five? I just, I just need one more. Ah! Hi there! Whoa! Look out for that one there, spider. That was actually okay. It's getting a little out of hand here. Those were both accidents. I didn't mean to trigger them. That's all the string we needed, though, so let's just uh, eat a potato and be on our way. That bed is a priority. I need to start sleeping through the nights. Although, I guess if I slept through the night, I wouldn't have found those spiders. Which means we would have gone on another search for wool, but let's just let's just not right now. So take all of these sticks out of there. Dang flabbit. And then take the string. Was it just two layers of string? That's exactly what it was. And then we we're just gonna hit that with our crafting rock. And in a perfect world, it's gonna give us our oh, it gives us a few of them, doesn't it? It gives us like two dense nets. Well, that's nice, I guess, if we want to build another one. It does have a limited amount of uses, so we're going to have to build another one. But then I'm not real sure still what to do with these things. Perfect. Does that only give us one, though? It does only give us one. Hey, this is getting strenuous. Has been completed. Great. Still don't know what this thing does. Let's go find out together, I suppose. So I think we put the strainer on there. And then do we just pour water into it? Yeah, let's go ahead and get our bladder. 
Oh gosh, you followed me over here, didn't you? You, you swam through the waters all the way over here to get me. You're a very persistent zombie. You're wearing you're a zombie in wolf's clothing, which is like that story. That's, I don't think that's a story at all. Is this a single use item? I'd be very disappointed if that's the case. Here we go. Uh, what shift click? How do you, how do you put water in here? I don't don't know if you can. Maybe it goes actually in the river. I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. Maybe we've gone the wrong way with this whole bladder situation. Maybe the actual answer is to just put this thing down here. Put put this in there. However we do that. How do we do that? Like that. Put, okay, boom. And then not drown to death. I'm not sure how to bait it, though. What would you put in here as bait? A bait pot and a bait spider eye? No, you can't bait it with a spider eye, naturally. Should we just leave it? Does it need bait? It might need bait. Oh, wow. Okay, I just realized that if you uh, use, uh, click on uses while you're hovering over one of these, it'll show you what the different ones can collect. So the survivalist strainer can somehow collect wood in items in clay. That's a bit weird. Uh, that's the regular one. The dense one can collect these items, including shark tooth which is fantastic, and an ink sack, which is also great. As well as, oh, okay, well, once we get this unfamiliar item, it can also get things for us. Very interesting. Very excited to figure that out. Not sure what we can bait it with, though. I'm assuming that looked like a worm slot in there, but where does one get worms? I, I haven't found worms yet, have I? Plant fiber kind of looks like worms, but surely that's not the answer. And if it is... Cool, I guess, but let's give it a try. Let's see if anything has happened down here. Take a look inside. Oh my gosh, it has! It's gotten some gravel and some sand. Okay, can I put plant twine in here? No, I can't. See, that looks like something, and that looks like a pot. I'll have to look into that further. Or, wait a second, are those craftable things? Do I need to look up the recipes for them? Hold on a second. If Am I just being a fool? Oh, look at this. I can type in bait. Worm. Uh, dig dirt blocks with a garden trowel to gather worms. So garden trowel. Oh, that's such a simple recipe. Dirt, flint, stick. We, we probably have everything we need in here to do that. Oh, we can get gravel using cobblestone in the grindstone. Fan flipping tastic. It's all it's all looking up from here, my friends. Stick, bit of flint, bit of dirt. Doesn't look anything like a trowel to me. But you know what? To the game, this is all you need to get your garden going. Bam, baby. All right, here we go. Do we get worms? We got a worm! Let's get a couple more. Do we get a worm every time? We don't seem to get a worm every time. It's not super consistent, but... Hey, look at that. All right, so we've now got eight worms. So let's take those down there with us. And also, I'm getting a little hungry, so let's eat some carrots. We've got a ton of carrots now. My whole plant and, and harvest carrots in the wild plan is really working out for us in terms of not starving to death. Alrighty. Oh, this thing's working pretty good. So let's put a... Oh, wait, hold on. Bait redundant. This strainer does not need any bait. Oh! So you know what probably does need one? Is if we made one with the other strainer. Because the other type of strainer, this one right here... Was it... Was it... Was it this one? Uses? Maybe not. It's this one that catches actual fish. So that's probably the one that we're going to need bait for in the future. But uh, I'll tell you what. Pretty happy with what we've succeeded at here today. So I want to give a big thank you to all you folks for watching, and we're going to come back next time and continue this. So God bless y'all, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!